What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a very interesting test to make. I want to see if Flex Seal can plug a hole in a tire. Here it says it's liquid rubber and tires are actually rubber. So what I'm going to do, I am going to deflate this tire. I'm going to drill a hole in it here on this smooth spot and another one between the threads. And then I'm going to try and fill them with Flex Seal as much as I can and I'm gonna let it cure and then uh, we're gonna see if it actually can hold air and I'm gonna spray some soapy water and test that there is no regrets of destroying this tire as you can see it's pretty busted I can't drive on this anymore it's not safe so I'm gonna use it for this video so let's get this video started and we'll see what happens okay now I'm gonna deflate this tire okay so I'm just gonna use this Phillips screwdriver so I have a drill bit here about the size of a nail so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put a hole over here and another hole right here okay so we have another good size hole right here and another one right here so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna wipe them off with rubbing alcohol so the the flex seal have a good clean surface to bond on. Okay, so there's rubbing alcohol on a rag. Pretty good. Maybe this is not necessary, but just for good measures so it bonds and sticks. All right, now it's time to throw the flex seal on. All right, so this is the first hole on the side and this is the hole between the threads. So now I have the flex seal right here and shake it very well. I already shaked it for a while and I'm gonna spray it on. I'm gonna keep giving it until it's filled up and flat with the surface. Okay, this one. Okay, back to this one. Okay, so it looks like this. I am going to wipe the excess off around it. Okay, give it just a little more. Okay, I'll do the same thing over here, just wipe the excess. And I am going to spray a little more. And just leave it like that, this one. I want it to be filled up and covered. Okay. It is really liquid rubber. Okay, I'm not that. I am going to let it dry now, and the next shot is gonna be when this is fully cured. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it has been 24 hours. The instructions on the can say 24 hours to 48 hours, so it has already been 24 hours, and it really feels like rubbery. So, but it feels like soft rubber, like softer than the actual tire. There was uh, the hole was here somewhere between the threads and there was a hole that I think it's right here you see the indentation so now I'm gonna uh, I don't have an actual air compressor I have a small emergency air pump so I'm gonna use that to pump the tire up after we air up the tire 
we're gonna see if these are gonna uh, these are holding up and I'm gonna spray it with uh, soapy water and see if any bubbles come out and we'll see the result okay so I brought the pump and I have it hooked up right here I'm gonna air it up and then we're gonna look at it it is at 20 psi and you can actually hear the leak All right. yeah it did not work soapy water yeah right there in the soft spot neither this one none of, none of them held up yep it does not work flex seal cannot plug a tire it is a lot softer rubber and it can't hold the pressure <laughs> all right all right so it did not work i was hoping but it's still leaking i was hoping maybe if you have a junk tire maybe you can throw some flexi line so you can drive the car maybe to the junkyard or to get the tires replaced or whatever anyway it did not work flex seal cannot plug tires <laughs> So this was my experiment. Let me know if you want me to do any other experiments with Flex Seal. I appreciate you guys watching. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next one.